What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna switch our units from centimeter to inches. And this time I'm going to rescale the object. I'm gonna go right here, go from centimeters to inches. I'm gonna get the same window. And right now what I wanna do is I wanna convert these units. So we're gonna go from 48 centimeters to inches. So this will give us something very close to 19 inches, which is the dimensions that we found in Google. So I'm gonna convert this time. And notice that we have 18.89 inches in height. And the other two dimensions have also changed proportionally. So this covers all of the unit conversions side of units and dimensions. To rescale an object in our units and dimensions is very easy. All you have to do is change the dimensions that you want to a specific one. So I wanna print this on my form labs form two. And I know that my height is 6.5. So I'm gonna type in six just to get some wiggle room at the bottom. And as soon as you hit enter, you will notice that this is going to rescale your object. You will see that your grid has changed. And this is one way of doing it. I'm gonna click on done. The other way of changing the dimensions of your mesh is by going to the Edit Tool, Transform. Inside of the Transform menu, you will notice that we can make all these changes right here, our Translate, our Rotate, our Scale, and our Size. So right now, the size X, Y, and Z is telling us that this object is 2.896 inches on the X axis six inches on the Y axis and 4.3981 on the Z. If I wanna rescale this object, I can go right here under size and type in a new size. But I want you to notice what's about to happen. As soon as I hit enter, you will notice that I changed the dimensions of my object right here by resizing the Y axis. The X and the Z, unlike using units and dimensions under analysis, will not rescale these two axes proportionally. So what we have to do is we have to do this manually. When I typed in 19 inches for the height, you will notice that under scale Y, I have a new dimension, which is 3.167. All you have to do is select this scale, copy it, Control C or Command C on an Apple, and then adding this new number on this scale X, Control V or Command V, and on the Z. Control V or Command V, hit Enter, and now we have rescale our object using the Transform tool. I'm gonna to click on Accept, and notice that our grid has also changed with our new dimensions. Next, we're gonna learn how to set our dimensions from a specific measurement.